Is this the image of the beast that speaks? Revelation 13.15 He has granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Is it a coincidence that Barack Obama has been chosen for this artificial intelligence technology? Watch this video and you decide. Given this audio as input, it's been less than a week since the deadliest mass shooting in American history. Our method produces the following output. It's been less than a week since the deadliest mass shooting in American history. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. Here's the ground truth video of Obama saying the same words. Especially our friends who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. I visited with the families of many of the victims on Thursday. And one thing I told them is that they're not alone. To demonstrate the power of the method, we apply the same input speech mapped to four different target videos. Note that all four are synthetic and have different lighting conditions. The auto industry, to help families refinance their homes, to invest in things like high-tech manufacturing, clean energy, and the infrastructure that creates good new jobs. Not to mention the job training that helps folks earn new skills to fill those jobs. The results are clear. Because our approach requires only audio, we can generate a high quality head close-up even when the original source video has low resolution or the head is occluded. We do one Christmas trip uh, on Small Business Saturday. I usually go out there with the girls and last couple years we've gone to bookstores. Okay. Because the nice thing about a bookstore is you can cover a lot of ground. You can get books for, you know, the six-year-old niece, you can yeah. get books for your mother-in-law. You know, I think we're in a moment of history where probably the most important thing we need to do is to bring the country together. Uh, and one of the skills that I bring to bear is uh, being able to uh, pull together the different strands of American life. And Here's an older Obama speaking his words from a quarter century ago. Although I'm honored and I think people can say that my election symbolizes some progress, at least in, within the small confines of the legal community. I think it's real important to keep the focus on uh, the, the broader world out there and, and see that... Uh... We present a novel real-time facial reenactment method that works with any commodity webcam. Since our method only uses RGB data for both the source and target actor, we are able to manipulate YouTube videos in real time. Here we demonstrate our method in a live setup. On the right, a source actor is captured with a standard webcam. This input drives the animation of the face in the video shown on the monitor to the left. A significant difference to previous methods is the re-rendering of the mouth interior. To this end, we resynthesize the mouth interior of the target actor using video footage from the training sequence based on temporal and photometric similarity. As we can see, we are able to generate a realistic and convincing reenactment result. Here we show a close-up of the footage from the previous live reenactment. The input video stream is shown on the left. Note that the target actor is re-rendered in a neutral pose. On the right, we can see the final output of our method. Our system reconstructs and tracks both source and target actors using a dense photometric energy minimization. Using a novel subspace deformation transfer technique, we transfer the expressions from the source to the target actor. This allows us to obtain a modified face template of the target actor according to the expressions of the source actor. We now re-render the modified face on top of the target sequence in order to replace the original facial expressions. Here we show additional live sequences where we reenact various YouTube videos.
In order to evaluate our approach, we perform a cross-validation based on optical flow. To this end, we retrieve mouth interiors from the first half of the video. The second half is used for evaluation queries. As we can see, our re-rendering error is very low. Our method introduces a new RGB face tracking pipeline, which we compare against state-of-the-art real-time face tracking methods. Here, we show a comparison against Kao et al. and Tease et al. Note that Tease et al. is based on RGBD data, whereas Kao et al. and our method require only RGB input. Here we show another tracking comparison to Phase Shift 2014, which relies on RGBD data. Although our method is RGB only, we achieve similar tracking quality. In contrast to real-time tracking methods, we also compare against the offline tracking algorithm of Xi et al. Note that Xi et al. perform additional geometric refinement using shading cues. We now compare our approach against previous reenactment approaches. Here we show the scenario of a translator animating another person. Note that our approach runs in real-time, while Garrido et al. works offline. Here, we show a comparison to Tease et al. who rely on RGBD data. Both methods produce similar reenactment results. However, note that Tease et al. uses a geometric teeth proxy, which leads to artificially shaped mouth regions. Thank you for watching.